guys what's up grand nationals 5 vlog coming at you out here it's the big one just a small little view of the massiveness i mean you get for those of you that don't know newcastle they won't mean much but they're parked over there inside the rental track area like it is from from end to end full of carters and it's amazing guys so uh this year i'm racing in uh heavy and dad is racing in the legends class that's right dad is doing grand nationals this year as well no ben he's out here wrenching for us and uh just being general uh commentator on what we're doing wrong two of us stalls racing we practiced yesterday uh too lazy to actually vlog yesterday because it's so much footage over uh four days um so today's friday official practice day and qualifying day uh yesterday was wet, went well felt pretty strong uh but today's the one that matters yes everyone i am here and uh no i am not racing i was close i was close a couple times uh, I was almost talked onto the ledge or off the ledge. I don't really know what it would be in this situation. Um, but it's going to be pouring Sunday from the radar or weather forecast. And I don't really feel like dealing with that. But I was very close um, to racing. But I'll just be a supporter. You know, without me, I don't I have no idea where Casey and Dad would have been yesterday. But they had really strong days of practice. Um, and we're looking to continue to build on that for today and into tomorrow when the heats begin. So. So far, so good. All smiles here in the stall camp. And this ugly mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the final practice of the day, which uh, I think I mentioned it sets the order for qualifying. So it's not of huge importance, but it, it matters. Um, <clears throat> in that one, I had bolted on the, the new tires because I was running my, up till that point, I'd been running the tires from last year, which felt really good still but uh put on the new tires cart felt even better trimmed off some more time and guys all right let me see i don't know if i can see it let's see you just have to look six names down to find your boy a 119 one um next up is qualifying just they space you out here uh which which is good and uh just gotta you know maybe not do my normal thing in qualifying which is find a way to mess it up so getting ready to go qualify here in about uh 20 minutes and uh heck came out yesterday in practice and was really solid uh ran a 21 3 9 and today haven't been able to get that underneath uh 122 mostly of my own making i've gone out in the back just to work some things out and it's uh hurt my times but we'll see you know qualifying is uh about to go and we'll probably see the true speed hopefully i can get back down to where i was yesterday uh boys have been riding me pretty hard today about <laughs> my positioning so uh i uh i need to have a good run to get through the evening without taking a raft of smelly stuff so We'll see how it goes. I'm anxious. 
So qualifying done. Went off sixth uh, in qualifying order. And uh, cart was the same, cart was great. I just did, you know, I pulled a Casey and did, didn't did maximize in qualifying. And um, got, I, I ran a 19.4. And look, we're, it's all really close, but that put me 16. And I'm not upset about being 16th for being 16th sake. It's the disappointment in my driving that I left the three tenths that I had in the previous practice when I ran alone, right? I mean, there was a group just a little bit ahead of me, but it wasn't draft. It was I, that 19 one was me. And so it's, it's disappointing that I did not maximize it. Um, you know, I did, there's 40, 40 something carts out here. So I'm, I'm overall, it's still good, but it's just, there's some fr a lot of frustration there that I, when it counted, I, what I didn't I didn't deliver so 16th we're all roll off uh, qualifying wrap up uh, as I mentioned earlier before just didn't go fast today but I felt like it wasn't the cart um, it was just it wasn't even the driver it was a matter of circumstances so you know uh, good news is I went out and shaved uh, almost a second about nine tenths off of my uh, practice time yesterday came in at a 124 something and I just couldn't be happier it put me in 11th place and uh, you know I think I had three or four laps in the 120s so hopefully there's some consistency there uh, we'll see what the heat, heat races bring but uh, no for for this old man and everything you know about him I just uh, I couldn't be happier you know and I want to thank we had some uh, really nice people uh, that I race with come by and congratulate me and that meant a lot and uh, you know Newcastle's well represented out here and I'm I'm one of many and hopefully we can go and put a good showing out tomorrow but it was fun I'm uh, I'm very happy uh, tomorrow may be a different song but today we're happy so it's been a pretty good day at the track which it's always a good day at the track but doesn't get any better than this got our uh, Family and friends here at the Stall Racing Camp getting ready to celebrate my oldest birthday. Casey's 34 today, and uh, you know, as with all my kids, I couldn't be prouder of him. And so we're gonna try and have a little party here, got some pizza on the way, and uh, uh, that's about as wild as we get, so. <laughs> you guys remember Adam, he was in our vlog a few vlogs ago. Works for cup carts. Uh, you know, he actually hasn't yelled at uh, any of us yet this year. Uh, so we'll have to change that. But uh, Adam and I partake, we, we happen to enjoy uh, the chosen elixir of White Claw, right? Adam's got one here. And our pal Jorge, is it, there's not many things I think Jorge hates more than White Claw. Especially guys, guys that drink White Claw. I've got no shame, right? That stuff's delicious. So, Adam, you mind holding that up, Adam? Showing that for the the camera Adam got him a little present and we fully expect him to wear that tomorrow so we're gonna go if he doesn't wear this tomorrow he's DQ <laughs> yes. <laughs> which only moves him back one spot <laughs> I gotta save that one for him uh, uh, all right so we're gonna go down there he's he's still in his tent I think and we're gonna go down there and just kind of give it to him. I told him it was for some stall racing merch uh, that we don't have. So instead we're just giving him the White Claw shirt. So we'll see how it goes. Is that the White Claw? I cannot believe yeah. you're, like, you're so embarrassing. I think, like, should, I think we should I think we should give him the stall racing merch. Oh, that's what we came down here for. Yeah, your stall racing merch. What is this? Your stall racing merch. Uh, I told you, oh, I told you about it. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. Dude, where's it's, your freaking wait, go-kart? No, you I can't wear videoed. this tomorrow. Why? It's white. No, I don't want to get dirty. No, well, wear that tomorrow. No, we'll well, that's what dirty. we got it. Wear it on camera. You got to wear it. Blue dishes. 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 Blue Oh, oh, we want to make sure it would be fit. We don't want it to be snug. Yeah. Oh, I don't want it to be snug. Are you Look, serious? You're looking at the wrong guy. 
Are you serious? I didn't know, <laughs> <laughs> who are you? I didn't know this was happening until 10 minutes ago. Are you ago. serious? I don't know who to look You're at. the same size as me. <laughs> Two X? <laughs> you got to... All right. Let's, if it, let's, is uh, it 100% cotton? Right. You don't want to get it cold. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Where's my It'll camera? shrink. Yeah. yeah get my camera. Testing, 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 testing. Chris and the line. Oh, jeez. Sunrise here at Newcastle. Sometimes you're just left letting the beauty speak for itself. Well, you can see what's happening. Putting on rain tires. And this year, we actually got our own. Because um, last year we were ill-prepared, but our fellow racers, Jorge and Jamie, saved us. But this year, we've got our own sets. And... Uh, Looks like we're gonna need them. I don't know about today for the two heat races. Don't know that we're gonna need them today. It's gonna be a little bit iffy on that second one. But tomorrow, the forecast doesn't look great. Just got up here for the driver's meeting. But the real reason we're up here is after the driver's meeting, there are door prizes. And we've gone four years now without a door prize. So we're, we're optimistic. I think we're due. We might sweep the entire door prize. Yeah. But we might just get the cheese balls. Yeah, I think the cheese balls, yeah. We've got Todd, Brad, and Becky. They got some good stuff too, like stacks of iPads and stuff. So we're, we're optimistic. Hey, we are here at the biggest LO206 race in the country. Just take a look. And it is all being held at the Cuban Cigar of go-kart racing tracks newcastle motor sports park the morning walk with dad and today i'm reminded and last night you know i'm a warrior and i look i'm always looking ahead and right now the sun's shining there's rain coming my cart's in one piece and I qualified 11th and carnage is coming and the family's here and and right now everything's right with the world and you know what I'm just gonna take a few minutes I'm gonna live in this moment because everything is right and I don't do that enough so <laughs> probably be singing a different tune later on but uh, for now uh, I'm just gonna soak it in. Dad, your first national race, how are you feeling? I'm a little nervous. Yeah? A little nervous. Starting 11. It's a big nervous, deal. Nervous about the start. Yeah, there's good reason for that. If you guys have seen our previous Grand National vlogs, uh, the start's where most of the craziness can happen. Although, they, we did just get done with the driver's meeting, and it sounds like the, the policies they put in place uh, should help with it. Slow down the start. It won't help. It won't help. I'm an optimist, guys, so I uh, may just be too optimistic on this. But uh, they've tried to enact some policies to help. We'll see how that goes. People came to race. No, people came to race. Going up for Dad's race, today's format, we've got two heat races, uh, which through a point system of where you finish in each heat race determines your starting position tomorrow in the final. Um, Dad rolling off 11 in what I've dubbed the Greybeard class, aka Legends 50 plus. Dude looks good. I've never seen him look this good. I am just really excited to watch him race. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Now we only have the one 360 cam and uh, we're back to back on the races. So Dad, is going to not have the 360 cam on this one. We're, we're going to try to alternate a little bit, uh, and I'll carry it in the first race. So, not not ideal, but it is what it is. So post race, um, things didn't go quite like I had hoped. Um, didn't get a great start, but I've had worse.
I got through the first lap and I was uh, just really starting to say it's time to really go and and maybe start uh, looking to move up and uh, I think I dropped a spot or two by that time and we went to the bottom of the ski jump and uh, somebody got into me it, you know it's one of those things it's, it's probably just a racing incident at the time you're so jacked up and I was doing doing really well for me no, and no, no, was, no. if anyone has footage we want a number we want some beef no no I, I might have at the time but I have a feeling if we saw it, you know, it's a, one of those things where I take a little bit different line there. I kick out right. And uh, so as I've thought about it, I can see how it could have happened. We didn't have the 360 camera on there and maybe that's all for the best. And from there on, I just drove angry. Uh, <laughs> however many carts there were, 36, 38, I was at the very end and uh, the engine stalled. So, um, and actually the engine didn't stall. I could not move the cart. The cart got stuck in the grass, had to get out and push it out. Um, but the cart was fantastic. I, I felt fast. and ended up catching back up with uh, some of the field and uh, past several people and ended up 28th. You know, looks like uh, the adventure one is over and uh, the, the the real adventure will be maybe race number two where uh, I've decided to race it <laughs> in the rain and I don't do that. So I've got one race under my belt and uh, uh, not ideal to be in a national race and, and try number two, but uh, we're gonna try it and we'll see how that goes. Well, also, uh, Dad, they're gonna rename turn three. What are the, Tad Stall Corner. Yeah. I, I did. Mean, you made all your passes. There. I did make some passes in turn three. Yeah, that uh, that's not a typical place for me to pass. So everything it, it it was fun. You know, we're still having fun. It's raining now, and we'll see uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, as you as you watch the next section, though, you may want to be careful. You might get dizzy. <laughs> okay, heat race one. I'm trying to remember back to what happened, guys. Uh, start. Um, one, two, and three went great. Maybe it's recording now. I don't have an Insta one on. Uh, 
and then turn four came up which is like a transition to what we call the oval and uh i don't know exactly what happened but i was on the outside and the, with a cart to my inside and then a cart in front of him and the cart in front of us got spun somehow and uh, to avoid I had to go way wide and I lost a number of spots started racing forward again was feeling was feeling okay I think I went a little too low on the pressure it's been overcast not as not as warm, so I think I went a little too low. Going into the scoreboard hairpin, and it was pretty, it seemed pretty crazy for my driver's seat. This cart helicoptered in front of me, in the air, spun. And it seemed like his front bumper went over at least my front bumper, if not the driver panel. I mean, he was like, he was up there and he was spinning. And from that point, um, I think I just stayed. I don't think there was any more racing after that. And I ended up finishing 20th uh, after starting 16th. And all things considered, with those two incidents happening right in front of me, and you know, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm not thrilled with 20th, but it, it's uh, it's also not terrible. I think I start 20th. I think that that's how it works. You just start where you finished the first heat race. So I think I'll roll off 20th for the next one. And as you guys can tell, it's raining. And dad, is it gonna be raining? For our race it's going to be raining for our race so that is an opportunity um getting ready to do the switch over on the carts to rain tires you were doing so good though you're doing so good okay okay the race is over it was in the rain this is what the old girl looks like afterwards <laughs> And this is going to be one, guys, where I don't really have much commentary because, like, I was so, like, focused. Like, I mean, it was hard to see. My visor was fogged up. So, I mean, I was just kind of hanging on. Uh, I started 20th. I uh, got a clean start. And uh, it was, you know, it was just typical rain racing, which is hard to pass. So when you get past or you make a pass, it's maybe not the most pretty thing.
Um, it was a lot of fun racing with those guys. Uh, I finished 12th. Uh, whoop. Stop racing, guys. My task right now is to clean up the old girl, and I'll be using Dad's weed eater. We saw somebody do that at the track here uh, a few months ago, and we stole the idea, but uh, we'll take all the credit for it. But uh, that was fun. That was a good race. things away had a lot of fun second heat race uh, was my second uh, race in the rain and this time I had better tires and it was a much better experience made it through didn't uh, completely embarrass myself I uh, think I was supposed to have started um, 27th but there was a lot of cars carts that didn't take the green and uh, worked out well for me because uh, my side of the line had a lot more uh, people uh, declined to take the green flag than did the other line. So that's where I gained most of my spots. I, I think I gained four spots just by uh, moving up in the line and looking at the people across from me. It wasn't quite fair, but uh, you know we need any advantage we can. And from there I kept it on the track and got faster every lap and got more confident and so uh, looks like we're gonna have rain tomorrow and uh, you'll probably see me spin because I'm a little bit overconfident we're ready to go to the final tomorrow I think we're starting uh, 17th and uh, rain or shine uh, we'll see if we can't move up a little bit it's been a great experience so we're ready to go a little maintenance tip uh, after rain what we like to do what's really critical is drain the oil quickly um just want to get that water out of the short block uh then we hit like everything that like is metal on metal uh with uh like wd-40 and then uh the clutch is going to need cleaned um and then on the axle what's going to be good i haven't done it yet but come back through throw some WD-40 on here and clean it up real good um, and then uh, that'll help prevent rusting but uh, those are those are just the tips that we do for uh, after running in the rain on the way up to the main building uh, get, <laughs> I'm pumped guys uh, just stopped by Jorge to brag a little bit but uh, uh, for the first time this fifth year we finally won a prize um, and not only did we win a prize, I'm pretty sure it's like the top prize. Uh, uh, had an iPad next to my name. So, about to go up and uh, see if it's true and hopefully come back with an iPad. So, let's see if it's true. Hi, uh, I won a prize. Yeah, uh, iPad. iPad? Yep, Casey Stahl. freaking iPad guys it was real oh man you heard about my prize I was told that first of all first time Tony and Todd come here they win something yeah this is my fifth race now granted I'm not entered into this one but I've entered into five CKNA events where prizes were drawn zero times I've won and this is through several classes some of these times like these first timers come in here winning Casey gets a freaking iPad like I, I literally told Reagan this morning, I was like, I kind of think I might look at getting an iPad sometime. Yeah. My brother wins an iPad. Ow. I mean, what what could go? What else could go wrong? It's been raining all day. Smash burgers are probably going to give me salmonella or whatever. <laughs> Some worm. Dad's getting ready to make well, smash burgers. That's assuming you get it. Uh, the cards are stacked against me, guys. Oh, ever the victim. Dad's. <laughs> I'm Grandpa. Yeah. 
here at the go-kart track we meet a lot of great people and i just had a chance to spend a little over an hour with a, a tremendous young man one we enjoy well and his dad watches the vlog down in el paso texas so leo uh you raised a great kid and you sound like a great guy thanks for watching the vlog and uh and hopefully maybe someday you can get up here and watch him race and spend a little time over at the stall racing tent well that's it for today uh part one of the vlog we'll do part two with tomorrow's sunday feature uh you know just a little recap of today honestly like it was a great day a lot of fun uh an ipad sorry i'm still pretty pumped um but like this has been like just an awesome event uh we've been to every one so far and while there's ups and downs on the track it's so much fun uh, that's why we keep coming back uh so we've got a little more work to do on the carts get them ready for tomorrow and uh want to thank you guys for watching everyone that comes up says hi i feel like i say it all the time but like yeah. genuinely appreciate it so much it's it means so much that you guys would first off even watch our silly little vlog and then take time out of your day to come out and say hi and you know whatever it is you want to talk about we're here for it so thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one